And welcome back to the Kirby Sports Center on the campus of Lafayette College for Lafayette's impressive 77-59 win over St. Francis, Brooklyn. With the player of the game and the head coach, Teresa Grants, our player of the game, Sammy Stippa. And now we will head to Adam for the interviews. Coach, the team got off to 15-1 lead early on, shot over 50% from the game, first time since New Year's Eve 2011. Offensive performance, that was awesome. Your thoughts overall on the team's performance? We're getting better. Uh, we said earlier that in November we'd play one way, December would be a little better, January is going to be a little better, February is going to be a little better, and by the time we get to March, we should be okay. The fans will get to hear from Sammy in a moment, but she had 11 assists. Did a great job distributing the ball. Jamie shooting well from three. The whole team shot well from three, over 50% as well. What about the team communication really just set the tone from the start to get this win? I think the biggest thing that this team has done, and the thing that I'm most proud about them, is they have really started to embrace each other, believe in each other, and celebrate each other. And I think that's the most important piece because we're going to do the same celebration. We're going to celebrate on the floor with each other's athletes. And then when this month we're going to celebrate Hanukkah, we're going to celebrate Kwanzaa, and we're going to celebrate Christmas because we have people who are all in those different people, but we respect that. And when we come to the floor, we're going to respect that as well. And I think that's what you're seeing now from this Lafayette team. Now there's one more game before finals week. You go on the road at Wagner next week. What's going to be kind of the lead up for this team to make sure they finish off on a good point before that 13 day break and obviously the important thing in the classroom at finals week? Well, and the most important thing right now is their classes. They've done very, very well. I want them to maintain that. We're, we're Lafayette. There's a reason we're Lafayette. And then the second thing that we're concentrating on will be defense. And when we know what we're supposed to do defensively and we understand offense, which they're learning and they're getting, then we can score and it doesn't become hard. We just enjoy it and we play. And as I said, the biggest thing about this team is they just celebrate each other. And I think that's a great thing for a team. Great job, Coach, and best of luck uh, next week in Staten Island. Thank you very much. And again here with our player of the game, Sammy Stippa. And, and Sammy, career high, points, assists, steals. You had a three-pointer from half court at the end of the third quarter. Just what went right besides everything for you today? I mean, it's just everything came together. We played as a team. We did everything possible. I mean, Coach even says, like, games are won even before they are fought. And obviously, we came in with that demeanor. And I knew without my teammates, like, we came in and they had my back no matter what. If I missed my shot, they got the rebound. So, I mean, I couldn't expect more. I'd be happy. What was the confidence level after getting that early burst up 15-1? to Did it just feel like for you and the rest of the players, hey, let's settle down. We know what we're doing. We can finish this win as long as we finish strong. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we always usually actually, um, actually the people who are fighting back are getting out of the hole and we're always down first. And it's actually great for once that we're on the other side of the coin. And I mean, we can let down. I mean, you got to keep pushing and you can't let down at all. But other than that, we did a great job. Keep going. So, yeah. How does it feel to, to hit that, that half court shot? <laughs> it was great. I mean, we go over all the um, last minute shots. So, I mean, it was no pressure at all. And I mean, I hit it. So, I mean, it's great. <laughs> Well, how does it feel to get a, a double-double, 15 points, 11 assists? How does that feel for you, and how might that be a building block for the rest of the year? I mean, it's great, especially as a point guard. You don't really score as much. You look to other people. You want to assist more. You don't necessarily want to look for yourself. So, I mean, it was great. It was actually held my confidence a lot with my shot, especially, and hopefully I can do that more in the season. Great job tonight, Sammy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take care. And we'll now send it back to the booth. All right. <clears throat> and we're back here uh, for the recap. Um, tonight's impressive win, as you heard from Sammy Stippa and from Coach Teresa Grentz, uh, a very impressive performance defensively, a very impressive performance offensively, obviously, high point total for the season with 77 points. Lafayette certainly building, they have a two-game winning streak now. I guess, you know, the first, first one doesn't count as a streak. Second one, it's a streak. So they would like nothing better than to go into Wagner and pick up a third win in a row. Uh, but it's going to take a lot of hard work, and they're going to have to keep improving with each game. And as Teresa said, they're going to be they, they're going to be good in November. They're going to be better in December, and you can already see that they are better in December as we are going into the into the the long break. Um, but Lafayette definitely had an impressive performance, Adam, and you know it was just nice to see them share the basketball with all the assists, 20 assists 
to 17 turnovers. And, you know, really, um, it really was just a true team effort. And at one point early fourth quarter, it was 19 assists, or actually I think through three quarters, 19 assists to eight turnovers. So it did in the fourth quarter get a, a bit sloppy. But if you look at those first three quarters, what the team was able to do, by the third quarter, they tied a season high for field goals. They finished a season best, 32 of 61 from the floor. They had not just four players in double figures, but six different players to score at least eight points. You mentioned the distribution. They won on the boards, 37-29. If they can keep doing what they're doing and continue to add in what, what Coach Grant said about the defense and and helping to build that and also continuing to celebrate each other and growing as a team in terms of personalities it can only get better but I, I really uh, like about how the team really extended that start it wasn't just oh a good start and you kind of had the cruise to the finish it really was throughout three and about three and a half quarters or so where the team was still shooting efficiently passing efficiently and defending efficiently and that's the extended strong play you like to see yeah and it was really it was really nice to see them start strong finish strong you know, in all four quarters, they really had strong offensive outputs. And, you know, it all starts with the defense, and that's what got them off on the right foot uh, in the first couple minutes of the game. They had a couple steals, a couple easy baskets. When you get those easy baskets, all of a sudden you are, you know, you're gaining confidence. And, and so that was really important. Just a great win. So the final score again, Lafayette 77, St. Francis 59. The Leopards will have their next game Wednesday at Wagner, and then they'll have finals week, and then their Patriot League opener will be December 22nd against Colgate. Until next time, for Stacey Caginello, this is Adam Dobrovolsky signing off an impressive offensive performance in the Leopards' first winning streak of the 2015-16 season. Have a good evening, everybody.